On this National Wear Red Day to promote women's heart health, a cautionary tale from a Long Island educator. She says she'd been so busy she didn't even notice she was about to become a statistic. Heart disease causes one in three deaths. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff with her exclusive story tonight. I started to feel pressure on my chest and pain in my jaw. At age 57, busy as a mom working two jobs, Maria Rialli wrote off her symptoms as exhaustion and stress. In pain while driving, she was told by the doctor to get to the hospital. Even in that moment in time, I was second guessing myself, thinking, how bad could this be? And I'm saying, well, can I just run a couple of errands first? Can I take my child to an a doctor appointment? Yes. Good to see you. You good? Yes. She's sharing her story, she says, to save lives after Dr. Evelina Graver saved hers. This was dire because she was sitting on what's called a widowmaker. She had 90% blockage of that artery. Graver says too often women dismiss the symptoms, shortness of breath, fatigue, nausea, sweating, indigestion, and in Maria's case, jaw pain and chest pressure, making cardiovascular disease the number one killer for women more than all cancers combined. One woman dies from cardiovascular disease every 80 seconds. And the reason that happens is because so much of that cardiovascular disease in women goes Underrecognized. Immediately, doctors at Northwell Health opened the blockage with a stent. Then came the hard work. Doing my walking every day, my minimum 10,000 steps. I eat well, I exercise. I definitely try to de-stress. Reality dramatically changed her lifestyle and lost 50 pounds. I can, you know, walk up hills. Now there's gratitude on both sides yeah, for a life-saving message. From my heart, you saved my life. You did, right? If you want to take care of others who you love, you have to take care of yourself first. There are no guidelines as to what age a woman should first see a cardiologist. Dr. Graver recommends if you know you have a family history and before getting pregnant, waiting till you have symptoms could be too late. In Manhasset, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. Doctors say 80% of cardiac events could be prevented with education and lifestyle changes. So important. Oh my gosh, we can't stress it enough. Right.